Hi Flosstube, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel Loves Rubber Stamps and Needle Crafts. Today is Wednesday, April 28th of 2021 and I'm here for, I'm not sure which number it is, but my new Flosstube video. Today I'm going to try to make the video a little bit quick. Um, I have to pack my stuff because mom and I are actually going to the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat tomorrow in Amana, and I have to work tonight so uh, I need to get packed before I have to go to work so but I wanted to jump on here uh, because I do have a couple of finishes to show uh, that will be for our exchange pieces uh, for the retreat so I wanted to make sure I made a video to share those before we gave them away. So for today's video, I haven't got to work on a whole lot of projects since my last one. Uh, so I'll have the whips to share that I have worked on. Uh, I thought I would um, share what my plans are for Stitch Mania. I have the giveaway winner from last video and a little bit of haul. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. Uh, since my last video, I did have an unexpected finish. Um, I had to take my dog to the vet, and um, because of COVID, they still have you, um, you can't go in with your dog. You have to drop them off at the door. They take the dog in, and after you just wait in the parking lot. So while I was sitting in the parking lot, I just brought some stitching. And so I uh, pulled out my Miranda Hocus Pocus Trilogy from Mill Hill. And I actually was able to finish her. So here's my finish. Well, she's not fully finished yet, but... So, um... I'll insert a picture of where I was um, when I started her, um, if you care to see that here. Uh, so now I actually have two from that series completed and I just have one more left. So here's the other one that I have done. And she's called Mimi. So I do have the third kit, um, so hopefully I will be getting that one done soon, and then I'll have that whole series stitched. So that was my unexpected finish. Um, my dog had ear infection again, and um, he they think that his ear, he keeps getting chronic ear infections because they think he has some kind of allergies. So now he's on some allergy medicine, and hopefully that will help the problem. So the next project that I worked on was my King Coda Storyteller, which is a Max Color Heaven and Earth by Amy Stewart. This is the super size that I'm doing. So I will insert a picture of where I was last time here. And then because this is a really big project, I have it on my Mark II floor stand. And uh, so I'll have to just insert a picture of what I did. Uh, in my rotations, I do, each time I work on it, I do two horizontal lines. So I was able to work on this one time. So here is where I got to. The next project that I worked on was uh, my Red Birds by Marie Barber. It's in this magazine. It is November, December 2011 issue of Just Cross Stitch. And this is what it will look like when it's completely finished. And this is also the issue um, that I, I had an extra copy of it. So that's what the giveaway is for from last time. 
Uh, I'll insert a picture of where I was on this the last time you saw it here. To try to fit it all in there. So as you can see, this time when I worked on it, I started over here and I was able to get Grandpa Cardinal finished. And so I really only have left, I have, um, there's another flower like this underneath the Grandpa Cardinal. And then some more of these berries and a few more cherries like this. So hopefully a couple more rotations and I will have that completed. And as I mentioned in my previous videos, I'm stitching this in honor of my grandma and grandpa who passed away that I was close to. I like to stitch cardinal pieces in memory of them. And the last project that I worked on uh, was my mystery cell from Autumn Lane Stitchery. It is the Dark Queen of the Sea. So I'll insert a picture of where I was the last time you saw it here. And currently I am still behind, um, but this is where I've got to. Sorry, you can't see the, the other side, but um, I was able to do all of her hair and her face. So I changed her hair color. Um, I wanted it to look kind of like seaweed, um, seaweed colors. And then I've been working on this section. I just have a few more of these leaves like this to come up here. And then I'll have that section done as well. So I'm actually, this part is the, I think it was the January section. So I'm still behind about three months, soon to be four. But like I said, I haven't really got as much chance to work on my whips as I wanted. And, um, She's got a lot of stitching in her. So that's where I'm at currently on her. And those were the whips that I've had a chance to work on since my last video. So just those four um, at work, I've finally got to go back to my regular shift, which is the overnight shift. So, and I'm done training for now. So I get to uh, go back to being able to do my stitching on my heaven and earth at work and stuff. So hopefully I'll start getting some more project progress on those. Um, now I will show you the two finishes that I did for the Midwest cross stitch retreat for our exchange pieces. Um, the first one is the one that my mom stitched. Um, so this is my this is my mom's exchange piece. Sorry, I'm looking for my little board. Um, so this was her piece that she stitched. It's like a little patriotic knitter lady. And I know this was in a Just Cross Stitch magazine. I'm not sure which issue. If you really wanna know, I can look it up though. And so that was stitched by my mom. And then I finished it into this little pillow for her. And I just backed it with uh, Lady Dot Creates, I think it's navy bean or a navy velveteen. It was really soft. I thought it turned out really cute. I like the... So that'll be my mom's piece. And then the piece that I stitched, I believe it's from Heartstring Samplery. Um, sorry, I gotta take it out. 
I should have did that before. But um, it's called O is for Old Glory, and I finished it in this little trinket box. So the box opens. So you can see my light there. Yeah, glare. So that is my finish for the exchange. So I wanted to show those with you because after tomorrow they will have new homes. So um, let's see what's next. Um, at, at the retreat, I'll show this. Um, I think I showed this in my last video. It was my prize package from Lindy Stitches. Um, it's in my, this was the bag that I got. Um, if you're new to my channel, I had entered, um, Lindy Stitches had had a bird along contest, um, and you had to share pictures of birds that you had either taken or you could draw a bird or dance like a bird or what, whatever. Uh, but my picture was the one that won. And if you won, she charted your design into a cross stitch chart. So, um, this was the cross stitch chart that she made of the picture I took, um, which was little Edna and she was feeding at our feeder on an orange. Here's, here's my picture here. But she had these two unique little pin feathers that stuck up on each side of her head, which just made her super cute. Um, so the reason I'm showing you this is because um, at the Midwest Cross Stitch Retreat, I'm actually going to start her and um, stitch her. So my plan is to stitch her with all the called for floss. And I'm going to use um, this piece of color and cotton fabric called Celeste. I think she'll be pretty on that. And it's kind of similar to the color that Lindy Stitches used. So that'll be a new start for me at the retreat. All right, now, uh, before we get into my Stitch Mania um, information, I will uh, announce who the winner of the giveaway was for my last video. I had, like I said, an extra copy of the Just Cross Stitch issue that the Redbirds were in. And uh, I did random number generator right before I did this video. So I'll insert a picture of the number that was chosen here. And then... Uh, this is the list of all the entries. I had 26 entries and it drew number 10, which was Floss Abilities. So congratulations, Floss Abilities. I'll put a comment on yours to let you know that you are the winner. And if you want to uh, send me an email with your mailing address, my email is loves rubber stamps. That's all one word at yahoo.com. I'll also put that in the description below. Um, I'll get this mailed out to you after I get home from retreat, if I've heard from you by then. So congratulations, Flossibilities, and congratulations, um, and thanks to everybody that left comments and entered as well. I, I had fun reading all those. So. Uh, really quickly, uh, Stitch Mania this year, uh, what my plans are is I thought I would, um, I've, I want to have a Halloween tree with like Halloween ornaments. So I didn't want to have a whole bunch of new starts and new whips, um, to add to my pile because I have, I think I have 30 whips right now and the majority of them are fairly big. So I didn't want to add a whole bunch of new ones. Uh, I kind of like the rotation I'm in. I kind of like about having about that number because um, I am finding that with 30 whips because they are so big with my stitching time. Sometimes there's several, well, there's been a few projects where it's been years since, literal, literally years since I got to work on them. 
So I want to, um, I don't want to add a whole bunch to my pile. So what my thoughts were is I thought that I, since I want to have a Halloween tree and I don't have any Halloween Christmas or Halloween Christmas ornaments, Laura, uh, I don't have a lot of Halloween ornaments made. So for Stitch Mania, I thought I would just do Halloween ornaments uh, because they're small. And the way I thought I would do it is I would just pick an ornament and I would stitch that one till it's done and then start a new one, stitch it till it's finished, start a new one and just keep going. And for the month of May, just see how many Halloween ornaments I can finish. So at the end of Stitch Mania, I would have one whip that isn't finished and I can, you know, finish it um, or just add it to my whip pile. So Worst case scenario, I would add one whip to my pile uh, from Stitch Mania. So um, I haven't really decided all the ornaments I want to stitch. I've pulled out some of my, you know, like the Halloween issue ornaments from Just Cross Stitch. There's several in there that I want to stitch, but I haven't had really time to sit there and match up fabrics and do all that stuff at this time. So I'll, I'll probably just do that as I go along. Um... But what I thought I would share with you is I, I pulled out um, the ones that I have kits for, like the, um, like my Mill Hill kits and a couple of Dimension Whimsy kits, because I might, I may start some of those. So I'll just, I don't have a whole bunch, so I'll just kind of show you the ones I have. So I do want to do this one. This is the third uh, witch that I haven't got started or that I need to complete my collection. This is Muriel. So I'm hoping to this will be one that I'll stitch. I have this Dimensions Whimsy kit that's a uh, mummy. And I have this Dimension Whimsy kit that's a little pumpkin. I have pulled a few patterns um, that I want to do to like I have this Lizzie Kate one that's on my possibilities. It's called Happy Haunting. I have this one by uh, Designs by Lisa called 100% Baddie. And I have this Brenda Gervais with I Needle and Thread, the Happy Halloween Hoopla. Those are three patterns that I pulled. Um, and then the rest of my, I think these are all little Mill Hill kits. Um, I have this one, the Autumn Harvest, the little jack-o'-lantern, Pumpkin Man. I have the Autumn Harvest Collection, the Moonlit Owl. The Painted Pumpkins, Hippie Pumpkin. The Bewitching Pumpkin. And then uh, the Bewitched Kitty. So those are all the kits that I have that are Halloween kind of themed. Uh, like I said, I haven't decided all, I, I may or may not get to those or do them. Um, I haven't really decided which ones for sure I wanna do. I think that as I'll just pick one and then once that one's finished, I'll just pick the next one that strikes my fancy, so. Um, that's kind of what I plan on doing for Stitch Mania this year. And, um, now the rest of this is just going to be haul. I don't have a whole ton, um, compared to like what I usually have. So, um, it shouldn't take too long if you're interested. Um, if you're not interested in seeing the haul, um, I appreciate you stopping by and I hope that you found something to be inspired by and, uh, just appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. So we'll go ahead and run through the haul quick. Um, first couple of things, I, I got a couple issues of my World of Cross Stitching magazine. This is issue 305, which is the April 2021 issue. I really, I think the Peter Rabbit on the front is cute. And I'll show you just a couple of the designs inside that I thought were Neat. This is the free gift. Um, 
there was, um, there's a really cute dinosaur alphabet. If you have like a little boy or girl that like dinosaurs, there's a cute alphabet that has little dinosaurs on each letter. You could do their name or something. Um, then there was a section um, that are like little projects that are all coffee and tea themed. Um, so I really thought they kind of, they, these are just the charts, so I can't show you like all of the designs, but they do show a good variety made into different type of projects. I thought this one was super cute. Where, where have you been all my life? The little coffee beans. And then I thought that one was cute. The little, you're my best tea. So those are, uh, they have little smalls that you can do that are coffee themed. And then I thought this was kind of a cute design. It was an Easter wreath. So those are kind of my favorites out of that one. Um, and then I got this issue, which is issue 304, which is March's. And I love the rooster on the cover. Um, let me show you a better picture of it. It's uh, a Hannah Dale design. I love his face. Just looking at you like, what the heck are you looking at? And then, uh, I liked this. Um, in each issue, the, Fabby Riley does a kind of a master class to teach you specialty stitches. And this one uh, is to do these padded leaves. It's called stump work. And so she shows you how to do those. But I thought that was a really pretty design for uh, St. Patrick's Day or March. And then in this issue, there's also a really pretty alphabet that's bluebirds. And then the free gift for that magazine was this uh, bookmark. The cat. And then... Um, they had also sent this was a freebie that we we're supposed to get in our last issue that um, they didn't have them in when they sent the issues out. So then they just sent us the book. Uh, the rainbow were the rainbow letters are really cute. I like those. And then I got my issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine, and I'll be listing these in my store. Um, if you don't know, I have an online store that has like cross stitching and, uh, rubber stamps. It's loves rubber stamps and needle crafts is the name of my store. And the website is just lovesrubberstamps.net if you want to check it out. But, um, there was some really pretty, I love this magazine. If you don't get it, you should. It's very well made and it always has a really cute projects. So the first one I liked um, was the design that was one of the designs on the cover by uh, Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower. It's the Spring Heart. And it says that that's going to be a series in this uh, in these magazines. So she'll, I'm assuming it'll be a seasonal seasonal one. And then um, the new series from the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch is in here. This is the Spring. So that's going to be a seasonal a seasonal design. There's this really pretty one by Teresa Kogut called Springtime Cottontail. It's in here. And I I don't know how to punch needle, but I want to learn. I know I think Vana the Twisted Stitcher is doing a punch along to try to teach you how to do punch needle. So I want to do that because one of the designers in this magazine is Michelle Palmer, which I love her artwork. And I have some of her cross stitch charts. I have several of her drawings that she's done, but she does punch needle designs too. And a lot of times hers are featured. 
So here's one of hers. And I love it. It's so pretty. So I want to learn to punch needle to do uh, Michelle Palmer's designs. Then there was a cute one from Barbara Anna in here called Easter Hair. And it's that one. And here's uh, some more projects that aren't listed on the back. This is Lindy Stitches Cat. I think it looks pretty. So yeah, this huge magazine. The pages are really thick and nice. It's probably the best quality magazine I've ever seen. Um, so if you don't get it, um, it's definitely one to get. Uh, then I got my issue of Just Cross Stitch. Uh, this one is June of 21. There wasn't a whole lot in here I would stitch. It's a lot of beach, beachy type themed. Um, the two that I were my favorite were uh, by Jennifer Redman. One is, it, they're little gnomes. So one was like for mom. And then she did one for dad. So those are my favorites. So that's it for my magazines that I've received since my last video. Um, now I did get uh, an order, my order in from Mercresticom or Mercresticom. I'll put it down below. It's a shop on Etsy that uh, specializes in Russian kits or Russian cross stitch kits. So. Um, if you order $75 or more US, you get free shipping. So I always make sure I wait till I have enough to order so I get free shipping from Russia. And it usually comes really fast. So um, these are the kits that I ordered this time. So this was this is the one that I really wanted that I placed the order for. Um, so it's these really pretty parrots. And this is by, I, I can't even say the word. Um... But I just thought it, they were so pretty. And then look at the colors of these flosses. Really vibrant and rich. And they almost look like, they almost look like silks. So that'll be fun to stitch. Um, and then the other ones I got to make sure my order went, um, at the $75. Uh, I got this Anka kit from, or I guess it's a Lisa collection. It's a wolf. I got this one. Um, it's called Sampler Holiday Elk. And I thought I would do these individually to make them like little pillows or something. The little, like these, the little elks. So I thought they'd make little, cute little smalls. And then I got this one, uh, it's another wolf, wolves, bay, bay. And then there's this bay kit I got, which is this funny little owl, the mushroom. So that was my order from Mercrestochrome. Um, and then I also picked up this uh, felt kit for Halloween ornaments. I've never done felt like this, but for my Halloween tree, I, I really liked these. So I thought I would try those. So maybe I'll do some of these for Stitch Mania. It's not cross stitch, but it's still needlework. So... And it's Vintage Halloween, and this is a Bucilla kit. Um, and then I placed an order with uh, Dot Dot Goose on Etsy for one of her project bags. I ordered this one from her, which, which is the Gnomes. And I got the one that has the little project pal with it. So I wanted, I didn't have any of her project pals, and I wanted to see what they were like. 
I also ordered a, one of those for my mom for her birthday. So she already got it. So, um, And then I got a couple of my floss of the month from Color and Cotton. So I actually got two sets of them. So these... So I always get five um, for each month. So those were the colors that I've gotten since my last video. I love her. Uh, she does awesome with color. Her fabrics are amazing. Her floss is amazing. So if you can ever get into Color and Cotton's clubs, I highly recommend those. I've been in her club now for, I think, a couple of years. And I've never had any come that I was like, oh, that's horrible. Or, I'll, you know, ones that I would never use. They've all just been amazing. So um, then I got the next two patterns from uh, Stitching with the Housewives. Or I got America the Beautiful and the Liberty Farm. And I will be listing these in my store also. So if you are looking for these, I will be listing those. Probably sometime after a treat. So just a couple of more things. I uh, placed an order with Not Forgotten Farm on Etsy. Um, and any store names that I mention, I'll make sure to put in the description box below. Um, it might not be right when this video goes up, but I'll make sure to go back and edit it. That way you can look up the stores and, and know where they're at. So, uh, Not Forgotten Farm. These were the patterns I ordered for them. I got bushel and a peck. Somebody was stitching this or going to stitch it and I thought it was cute, which is why I had to place my order. So then I also got this one. You can't really see the picture. But this is one that I might do, um, it's not really an ornament, but I don't think it would take very long because it's mostly words, but it's Halloween and it says, I have newt wings of bat, 13 whiskers from a cross-eyed cat. And I just thought that was cute. Um, and then I got this one called Halloween. And I did think about doing this one for my Stitch Mania. But I thought what I would do is maybe do an ornament with just the little boy owl with the little trick-or-treat basket and then do a, a separate one with the little girl owl holding the little trick-or-treat basket. Uh, then I got Parson Brown. It says, in the meadow, we can build a snowman, Parson Brown, 1847. And then I got snow pants. So that was my order from Not Forgotten Farm. Then the rest of my haul is uh, some fabrics that I got. So I placed an order with pole stitches on, they're on Etsy too. Um, for some fabrics. This one that I got is a 28 count opalescent Lugana and it's called Rainbows and Reflections. So it's this really pretty kind of ombre colored piece that kind of reminds you of like a sky. And this is a sparkly fabric. Their fabrics are really pretty. And then the other fabric I got from Pull Stitches was called Blue Moon. And it is a 32 count Murano Lugana. It's this really pretty kind of purples, blues. So I thought that was really pretty. 
be pretty for like a mermaid or fairy or something like that. Their fabrics smell really good too. Um, and then I got two months worth of my color and cotton fabrics of the month. So uh, the first set are the ones from February. And with color and cotton, I get two pieces, both 13 by 17. I get one that's higher count neutrals and then one that's just any color linens. So this is the first one I got. Um, it's a 32 count Belfast and it's kind of this really pretty bluish gray. It's a light kind of grayish blue neutral. And then uh, we got this fun color that is a 32 count Lugana. Really bright pink. It's good for spring, summer. Um, I think a monochrome piece would look really pretty on that or a mono color. Um, then marches, I got uh, this 32 count Belfast and this is just like a real pale kind of a peach color. It's not really coming through very peachy, but it's like a, a light, real light peach. And that was a 32 count Belfast. And then the other piece was this really pretty light purple called Wisteria. It's pretty true to color there. And this was a 32 count Lugana. So some pretty good colors there. And then I saw on Fiberlicious, uh, she had a couple of orphan fabrics and I was able to get this one, which I love it. Um, doesn't have a name, but it's this kind of rusty orange with gray splotches in it. And I thought this would be perfect for like vintage Halloween designs. And since I'm gonna be stitching some Halloween, thought that was perfect. And that one is a 28 count Lugana. So I'm glad I was able to snag that up. And then my last two things is uh, just two uh, my under the sea fabrics fabric of the months. I got two months worth since my last video. The first one is Tara and I always get 32 count uh, Belfast from her. That's pretty true to color back here. So it's this really pretty uh, like aqua tealish color with brown splotches. It's kind of funny when I was looking at this, that almost looks like a little sea turtle, like the underside of a sea turtle. That's kind of funny, like right here. And then you see the little head poking out like he's swimming along. Be neat for a mermaid, maybe, since it has a sea turtle. And lastly, my last one is uh, amaryllis linen, which is this, this really pretty uh, pale yellow color. Let's see. Doesn't really have a lot of modeling or anything. It's just a real uh, nice, creamy. That's pretty true there. Creamy yellow color. So that's all I have for you uh, today. So um, I appreciate you stopping by. And I hope that if you're doing Stitch Mania that uh, you have a lot of fun and uh, get everything accomplished that you want to. And I, I will try to come back um, hopefully sooner than this last time. Um, the reason why I didn't was I just really didn't have a lot of progress to show on my whips. I didn't get as much stitching time as I was hoping to. So hopefully um, with my next video, I will share with you. Uh, maybe um, mom and I will try to do some filming while we're at the retreat and then um, at least have I'll have some retreat news uh, for my next video. So Again, appreciate you stopping by and uh, until next time, happy stitching everybody.